Hey guys, how's it going? Haven't made a video in a while, and I just went on a shopping spree today because the pawn shop that I go to was selling DVDs for 75 cents each, and because I recently got the stimulus money and kind of doing good on bills and everything, I thought, you know, I could get, like, at the most, I was going to spend, if it's 75 cents a DVD, then that's, like, four DVDs for three dollars, right? So... I was thinking for like $60, I could get like 80 DVDs, so that would be a great deal. But that was only if they had, you know, that many that I even wanted to buy, and they didn't, so I ended up getting about half of that. I got like 40, around 40 at the pawn shop, and then I went to Goodwill, and they were selling DVDs. Uh, they said some of those were like 99 cents, but I bought some Blu-rays too that were a little more. They were like $3, $5, $6, whatever. Um, so... And it's been a little bit, but pretty good deals here. And there's a lot of random stuff in this lot. Really nothing too great. I have an Amazon wish list full of movies, and this might knock off a few of them that are on there. But a lot of these are kind of random. But uh, And a lot of these, you know, might be part of a trilogy or something where I want to get the whole box set or, a, a, you know, a TV series where it's like one season or something or random episodes, and, you know, I might want to get more in the future. Or... Um, some of these, you know, they might not be great movies. Some of them I might want to get on Blu-ray in the future, but I still figured 75 cents each. I'm just going to pick up whatever I see that's relatively interesting at all right now. So they're all here. You can see there's these two stacks, and there's a little stack behind these that you can't see right now. So I just thought I'll just go through these, and, you know, this is an opportunity to record and just kind of make a quick comment on each movie that, you know, I'd like to look over more in the future. Um... So we'll start with Ultraviolet, and, uh, you know, this is a, like, a futuristic sci-fi movie with, uh, you know, like, an action, I think a lot of computer animation. I don't remember much about it. I'm pretty sure that I've seen it. I don't really remember if it was really good or not, but I think I remember owning it before, and so I figured, why not? And this has someone's name on there, some writing. It says action. The blood war is on. So I'm not going to say much about this. And that's pretty much what it's going to be for each movie as I just go through, kind of give an idea of why I got these or whatever. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's a classic. I watched it when I grew up as a kid. I don't have this, but I do have the Frosty the Snowman cartoon. So I saw they had this there, and I thought, you know what? We've already missed this Halloween season, but of course. And I'd even like to have this on Blu-ray, you know, but uh, I'm glad to even have it on DVD, so... The Strangers, I've seen that before, and you know, a lot of these I may have not seen or seen for a long time. Some of them I have, though. The Strangers is a great horror movie. Um, spoiler alert, everybody dies in the end, and that's kind of one of the things about this movie. It's basically a home invasion. It's these weird people that wear these masks over their head. And uh, basically everybody ends up getting killed in the movie, and the bad guys get away. So it's kind of like a let-down ending, but some people like that because not a lot of movies are like that. But it is pretty genuinely creepy, and um, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. Uh, I can't remember if they made a second one or not, but i never seen it if they did. But anyways, it's it's a good one, so that's a good horror movie. A Very Harold and Kamar Christmas. Uh, these movies are pretty raunchy, but I like a Harold and Kamar go to White Castle. I like Guantanamo Bay, too, but definitely the White Castle is the best one. Again, it's just a Christmas movie that, you know, it's funny enough for what it is. Uh, it's pretty trashy, but uh, if you like White Castle and stuff, you'd probably like that. So, the best of Gallagher. <laughs> Gallagher. So, they had some stand-up comedians, some tapes that I've had before. And again, for 75 cents, usually sometimes I'd pass on that. I used to always love these stand-up comedians, and I would have, like, their DVDs. And uh, I wasn't sure, you know, if that's something I wanted to get into collecting again. But I guess today I picked some up because, you know, they were so cheap. And I just said, why not? Gallagher's funny. He uses a lot of um, props, you know, like Carrot Top. Uh, you know, of course, he's famous for squashing the watermelons. But, you know, I really want to see this. I've seen some of his stuff before. I don't think I've seen this one. This is the Best of Gallagher Volume 2. So, again, this is like part of a set where I just kind of got a random one. But... You know, Gallagher's great, come on. Why not? Now, Star Wars, um, 
5, The Empire Strikes Back. Now, I have most of the new trilogy that just came out and most of the episodes that came out before that. I don't have the originals, the original trilogy, and this is part of that. And I want to get the original trilogy on Blu-ray, you know, like a Blu-ray box set, I really do. But I figured, why not? I'll get The Empire Strikes Back. That's a good one. So, 75 cents, why not? Sucker Punch, a movie that I don't like, probably one of my most unliked movies, but I thought, you know what, I can do a review now, I can watch it again, see if my opinion's changed, I can actually own it, it's okay, 75 cents, you know, even, it's even good to even have bad movies in your collection sometimes, I even bought like a horrible game today that's like notorious for being bad, you know, if you're a collector, it doesn't all have to be like the top tier stuff, you know, there's... There's really good stuff, there's your personal favorites, and sometimes even stuff that's trash. Like this, Terminator Salvation. I can't remember if I watched this one or not. I love the original Terminator, and the Terminator 2 is probably my favorite action movie of all time. 3 was okay, and then the rest pretty much kind of stunk. You know, I wonder about the new one that just came out in 2020. I'd probably like to see that at some point. But, you know, it's a Terminator movie. 75 cents. I figured why not. Eventually I'll probably try to own them all. 30 Days and 30 Nights. I've never seen this one. It's a vampire horror movie. I guess it takes place in Alaska, like when they have the 30 Days of Night. My cousin told me, you know, it's really good. I know that it was known for being really good. Like I told my cousin, I'm not really a huge fan of vampires. There are some vampire movies I like, like Blade and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You know, he said that those aren't horror movies. And, uh, I don't know, I might disagree with the Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Blade, I can say, yeah, that's not really horror. Uh, but some people, I think, consider that horror, too, but I don't know. And there are other vampire movies that I do like, but generally, it's not really my thing. But, 75 cents, I know this is popular for being good. Truth About Cats and Dogs. I don't know if I've actually seen this one, but I looked it up on Rotten Tomatoes. I looked a few of these up just to check the ratings because that's kind of curious. This is rated really high. It even says two thumbs up from Siskel and Ebert. I know Uma Thurman. She's, you know, a great actress. Um, and I know it's kind of like a romantic comedy. So I've got quite a few of those. And chick flicks, <laughs> you'll be surprised at what I picked up. Some for different reasons. Some because I may have seen them in the past and they're like sentimental. Also, maybe just because I think they're good movies or, you know, movies that somebody who visits might like to see, you know, a girl or that I can watch with my mom. A Tuxedo. Now, this one I looked up on Rotten Tomatoes and it got a horrible review, but it has Jackie Chan. And so I was really going to put it back and I'm like, ah, oh, screw it. You know, maybe I'll get a complete collection of Jackie Chan. I really love some of his really, really good movies. So, you know. Maybe why not own some of the trash? <laughs> I'm kind of interested in this. It's got a very bad review, though. It has to have some action in it, though, right? True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Pretty good. I remember watching it a long time ago. Um, I've always been a big fan of Schwarzenegger, except for, you know, the real-life Schwarzenegger. It's kind of a loser, right? But back in the day, he was a great action movie star. Saturday Night Fever. I don't know if I've ever actually sat down and watched this all the way through, but I know it's popular. John Travolta, 75 cents. I grabbed it. Sean Connery, 007 collection. Now, I have a handful of 007 movies, uh, some new ones and some old ones, uh, with Pierce Brosnan and some of the other guys. I don't remember the one that was in Quantum of Solace, where I haven't watched any of them yet. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to watch some James Bond movies. Well, this is the Sean Connery ones. It has Dr. No from Russia with Love and Goldfinger. I know Goldfinger's popular. Um, so, this is volume one, so I wonder how many he was in. I know there's a ton of James Bond movies, but, you know, I figured I'm sure he did some good ones, so I'm happy about that. There's three movies there for 75 cents, and I probably got some other sets like that, too. Love Actually, now some of these I don't even know if they're duplicates or not, because I need to get to working on making a list of all my movies, because sometimes, you know, I question whether I have these or not. Just another romantic comedy, and I think it's kind of a Christmas movie, too. Um, so, I don't have to say much about that. Scream 3, I would love to own all the Scream movies. 
they're great. I don't remember a whole lot about the third one, but any Scream movie is good, and I heard that they're going to be making a new one, so... You know, when they made that ghost-faced mask, like the killer's mask and Scream, you know, it, it became like an icon. And these movies are famous because of the plot twist, too, because you never know, like, who the killer is or the killers. Saving Private Ryan. Probably my favorite war movie of all time. And I know it's probably almost everybody's, but you know what? I would really love to own this on Blu-ray. But I figured, why pass it up? I don't have it in my collection. It is, like, my favorite war movie. I hope I don't have it in my collection. <laughs> but, anyways, this looks like a good uh, special limited edition. So, eventually I'll get the Blu-ray, though. That definitely deserves a Blu-ray. Planet of the Apes. Now, I know, I'm pretty sure that I have some of these. But I don't know if I have the original. And I'm not saying I'm really a big fan of these movies or that I've sat down through them. But I know... It's a popular, nerdy movie, Mark Wahlberg, so I really need to go and look and see which ones I have, because I'm pretty sure I picked up some Planet of the Apes. Hopefully it wasn't the same one. The Perfect Score, I don't remember if I've seen this or not. I think that I have. It's like, like a you know, a movie that I would watch when I was like a teenager. I think it's about kids that kind of break into a school or something. They want to like cheat on their tests. So it's like a kid's drama, comedy for kids, so it's kind of like a sentimental one. I think I watched it a long time ago. It's good for what it is, right? New Jack City. This is a little bit messed up there, but I got it anyway. Haven't seen it. Always wanted to see it. It has Wesley Snipes, Ice T, Chris Rock, Judd Nelson, Mario Van Peebles. I don't know who that is, but a gangster movie. <sighs> I've never seen Harlem Nights either, and that's always one I wanted to see, but that was like a comedy one. But I always think of those two together. I always think of, like, New Jack City and <laughs> Harlem uh, Nights together. But uh, I don't know. And I don't know if I already have that one or not. But Triple X. You know what? I might have this. I don't know. Maybe I do. Vin Diesel. An okay action movie. Why not? Crazy Beautiful. I remember watching this with a girl I dated a long time ago. Um. I'm pretty sure it's kind of a stupid romance movie, so. Sentimental. I think it's decent. Why not? Bad Boys 2. I'm kind of interested in the new Bad Boys. I wouldn't mind having, you know, the first one, obviously, too. But, um, I just think of Hot Fuzz when he's like, do you want to watch Bad Boys or Bad Boys 2 or whatever, so. It's like, yeah, you know, it's a police action movie. Will Smith was funny. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and I don't know if I have this or not, but I'm pretty sure that I don't have this version of it. You see what that is? That's a Criterion collection for 75 cents. That's really rare to find a Criterion collection in, like, the cheap movies. So that is awesome. I was like, yeah. And I don't even think I've seen this. I know it's about the kid that... What is it? A guy that, like, reverses over time? He gets younger or something? I wonder if I have this at all. I'm going to be saying that a lot because I'm clueless of what I even have. Major League. I remember going to see this in the theater with Mom when it came out. And I wanted to go see it so bad. Um, it might have been the second one. I don't know if it was the first one or the second one or what, but... I remember, it was probably the first one, I don't know. I just remember in the trailer, the guy, like, breaking the bat over his knee, so I don't know if that's this one or not. But I was like, I want to go see that, and I just remember that baseball being so cool, like the mohawk and the glasses. And Charlie Sheen, probably a lot of people know about this. It's a comedy baseball movie. A few Good Men, I don't know if I have it, don't think that I've seen it. Jack Nicholson, Tom Cruise... Demi Moore. Isn't this the movie where Jack Nicholson says, you can't handle the truth? I could be wrong, but I think so. They're all great actors. I'm sure it's a good movie. I'll see it sometime. The Fast and the Furious. I know I have some of these. I have Fast Five. I don't think that I have the original, which is really the only one that matters, I think. I'm not really a huge fan of these. I'm not really a car guy. But the first movie was pretty good. I will say that, so... Dukes of Hazard. I figured, why not? You know, just a trash movie. <laughs> it's the remake, the Dukes of Hazard. So, 
Now here's another one of the comedy stand-up specials, Eddie Murphy Delirious. I've always loved, you know, Eddie Murphy Raw and Delirious. Um, so, yeah, figured why not. You know, George Carlin was always my favorite comedian. But, um, there's a lot of them that I like. But yeah, him and, him and Eddie Murphy for sure. Rambo First Blood Part 2. Okay, obviously I would love to have the entire Rambo trilogy. And I don't think I've sat down and watched any of them. I know, it's probably a big surprise. And it's something, you know, I'd like to have like the Blu-ray trilogy box set with all of them. But, you know, maybe I just need to start with watching it on DVD. So, 75 cents. I know it's a good movie. Son-in-law... <laughs> This is like childhood stuff that I loved. I'm sorry. I'm guilty. I love Polly Shore's movie. I want to have all of his movies. Hell, I'd even own all of his movies on Blu-ray. Just because they're so cheesy. And it just, you know, it was just an awesome time in my life when Polly Shore was making movies. Dennis Leary. Uh, some of his stand-up stuff. Um, I always kind of thought that he was funny too, so... Doom, I always, I've owned this before, and I was actually a fan of this. I think I might have seen it in theater, I'm not sure. But The Rock, I always liked The Rock until I endorsed Joe Biden. And, um, I like Doom, the game, and I like the ending sequence in this when it goes into the first person view, and it's, it's like you're, you know, playing the game Doom, you're watching it. A lot of people didn't like this, because it's like so far removed from the game, but uh, I enjoyed it as a sci-fi action movie. It's Mystic River, I don't think that I've seen this, but you know, I always see it around, and it says that it's a film by Clint Eastwood. It has Sean Penn. Again, people are probably saying it has Kevin Bacon. People are probably saying, you haven't seen that? Why? Well, hopefully I will. Eventually. So, Nanny McPhee, I don't know if I grabbed this before in a cheap bin or not. I know it's supposed to be like Mary Poppins, it's, yeah, you know, why not have it, you know, maybe sometimes there will be like some kids or something that won't watch these movies too, I don't know. Pulse, I haven't seen it, but it's an Asian horror movie, I read the reviews, it is supposed to be pretty good, so, it's an Asian, you know, ghost movie. Pride and Prejudice, again, I don't know if I have this, I know it's based on a book, I know the book's really popular. I know it's probably kind of like a chick flick thing, but I'm interested in it because I've heard so much about it. So, Pride and Prejudice. I Love Lucy. <laughs> this is kind of a random one, the collector's edition. Okay, this just has a handful of random episodes. I loved Nick at Night when I was younger. I always loved watching I Love Lucy. Uh, Bewitched was one of my favorites, but I love The Wonder Years. I loved Happy Days. I love all that. I'd like to own all of that in the entire box sets. That would be a lot of money and a lot of time, I understand. It'll probably never happen, you know, but uh, I wouldn't mind having all of I Love Lucy. And it's usually little things like this that I put back. It's like, why just have a few random episodes? But then I was like, you know what? I don't know. Maybe, maybe this has some of the best ones. I don't know. It has the freezer. It has Lucy does a TV commercial. It has the publicity agent. And it has another one that I can't see because of the sticker. But anyway, so one, two, three, four, four episodes. Hmm. But it also has some special features on there. Come on, you gotta love I Love Lucy. <laughs> Lucy! Um, so the freezer is the one where they're eating the chocolates, is that what it is? Oh, and Laverne and Shirley, that was really one of my favorite shows on Nick at Night, too. I loved that one. I'd like to have that. But yeah, again, 75 cents. I was like, eh, do I want to put it back? It's like, nah, I shouldn't even really take the time to thank because, you know, I can get so many of them. I had extra money on me, so I shouldn't be really picky. Jarhead, I don't know if I have this or not. It's an okay military movie with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. I remember it being somewhat of a letdown when I first watched it because I thought there was going to be like more war scenes like um, in uh, Saving Private Ryan and stuff, but it's really not about that at all. It's kind of about them like not 
you know, not getting into the war, I think, like they wanted to or whatever. But it's a lot about the training and stuff. And it has Jamie Foxx, and he's great in it. It is a good movie, so when I think about army and war movies, it's definitely one I think of. Kingsman. I've heard a lot great about this movie. So this is kind of the ones that I was really excited to get. Along with the... Um, that Criterion movie, you know, I'm not sure what all the really gems that I found are, but I guess I would probably say this is one. And I know that there's a second Kingsman out too, I think. Um, but yeah, stylistic, I don't know, Samuel L. Jackson's in it. Michael Caine. It's more badass than Bond, says somebody. So kind of like a Bond kind of movie, I guess. The Secret Service. Supposed to be like funny, I think, too, in action. Live for your die hard. Again, I'd like to have the entire Blu ray box set of all the die hard movies, but I figured why not just pick this up too. I haven't seen this one though. This is like the newer one. Okay, now these are some of the ones that I bought from Goodwill that probably cost a little bit more. Mad Men. Um, I've seen a little bit of this and I kind of liked what I saw. Uh, this is season one. It was for like five dollars. And uh, I know that some of the people that are involved in Twin Peaks or some of the people that are in Twin Peaks are in this. This has to do with like cigarette campaign ads, people, and it has to do with uh, love affairs and stuff. It's based in 1960 New York. Um... And again, I was just, I was cleaning house on DVDs in town, so I was like, you know what, just get it. Just get it. So, I don't think it's something that I regret having in my collection. I have not seen the whole entire first season, but I saw maybe the first few episodes, so I'll have to watch this. Okay, some of these, um, I, you know, wanted to pick up some Blu-rays, so I'll just do all these Blu-rays together here that I got. So, I got Despicable Me and Despicable Me 2, which I'm not saying that I'm the biggest fan of these movies, but I know a lot of people are, and um, they're okay for what they are. They're animated movies, they're goofy, um, but I figured why not pick them up. Also Frozen. I've never seen it. I know everybody's crazy about that Walt Disney movie. This is the Blu-ray so I think, you know, to own some, and I don't have a lot of Disney movies, and I know there's a lot wrong with the Disney company. I grew up on Disney, though. My grandpa, he always bought me, like, new Disney movies when they came out. So they're kind of sentimental, the older ones. And I have just a small collection of them, but I'd like to have them. And, you know, I don't have Disney Plus right now or anything, but uh, I know there's so much that's wrong with that company, you know, like, owned by China and everything now, but... It is what it is. So these are some of the Blu-rays that I picked up. These were a little bit, these were like $4 each. So still a deal, you know. Some of these might seem a little more bizarre too. Let's see. I got Breaking the Rules. This is kind of like a romantic thing. I don't remember. Now, I saw this when I went to rehab. So there's, I've almost probably got almost all the movies that I watched when I went to rehab, which is kind of cool because they're all sentimental. Uh, after being dumped by his fiance, Jamie Foxx is in this. He pens the ultimate how-to book on breaking up. When it becomes a, a bestseller, he starts giving his cousin choice tips on how to win the battle of the sexes. I don't know. It has to do with these players, I guess. I don't know. It, it was pretty good, though. I remember it being pretty good. Fireproof, good Christian movie, um, I really like the one where they sell the cars, like the first one in the trilogy, kind of, I don't remember what it is, but I have the one with the police officers, Cour Courageous, I have that one, uh, I don't remember, the one with the cars that I like, I, that's the one that I don't have, I think, but this has Kirk Cameron, and yeah, it's a pretty good movie, so... Stand By Me is a classic, and I don't know if I already have this or not, but that's definitely like a Blu-ray worthy one too, I guess. 
I've seen it once. I know it's these kids find like a dead body and then it has to deal with them like getting older, I think, and uh, how they live later, right? I don't know. Corey Feldman's in it. I don't know the other ones. Whatever. It's a classic. You probably already know that. River Runs Through It, another classic, I think. But I'm not 100% sure that I've seen this. Because I always think of The River Wild with Kevin Bacon, which I really want that one too. <laughs> I love that. They used to always play that on TV. Um, so River Runs Through It, I'm not really sure. But I knew it was like a classic by the title, so I picked it up. <sighs> Freaky Friday. Why would I have this? Chick flick, like kids movie. Uh, I watched this in rehab, surprisingly. Um, and like I was with all boys, and I don't remember why we we watched this, why we had to watch this, but uh, you know it was okay. Um, has Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis? I mean, I guess with Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, she's a pretty good actress, I guess. But anyways, it's it's like a mom and a daughter, and they change bodies basically. They change roles. There's other movies like that with guys. Um, I don't remember the titles, but, you know, they're probably better. But it's another Disney movie here. But it was okay. So it's a sentimental one to me. I'd watch it again. It's turn off your brain. So Juno, kind of another, I think, romance kind of movie. I used to really not like Michael Cera, and I'm not sure that I really still do. But he made a handful of movies, and I'm starting to collect them, I guess. Either way, I know... I don't, I can't say if this is good or not because I haven't seen it. So some people might like it. Um, sometime I might want to review his movies. I picked up another one of his movies in this. Um, but uh, starting to collect his, I guess. We'll see. Not another teen movie. This is like a parody movie that makes fun of all these teenage movies, which it's okay. A lot of these parody movies are trash. And um, I don't really remember if this one is too great, but... This is kind of one of the earlier ones to start, like the modern parody kind of movies where they made a ton of those. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. This is another Michael Cera movie. Haven't seen it. I'm guessing it's kind of like a romantic kind of comedy movie. And finally, the last one is Dirty Work with uh, Norm MacDonald, who I'm finding out is a huge conservative. And that's one of the reasons why I got this. I did see this a long time ago when I was younger. And I remember being excited to see this. I wanted to see it. I remember seeing the trailers on TV. I loved Saturday Night Live back in the day. I was a huge fan. I loved Norm MacDonald. And, um, I, you know, I, I have a new respect and love for him now. And uh, I really need to watch this again because it's been so long. It also has Chevy Chase. But, uh, yeah, Norm MacDonald's a pretty awesome guy, so. That's it. That's a hell of a lot of movies, and I probably won't watch those for years. But they'll be in my collection. I don't know. I'll go on some kind of a spree. But, uh, anyway. Tell me what you think about those movies. God bless.